Hello guys, good morning. Happy 1st of September. Where has this year gone? Crazy. We are going to be making some beautiful crystal barrel bracelets today. Um, I've got loads of different colours to show you. We've got some amazing bundles. But check out the sparkle on these guys. They are absolutely stunning. Um, lots of different colour options available. So uh, hopefully there will be something to suit everybody's uh, taste. And the um, results are stunning for not very... Um, very intricate of a weave. This is a really simple pattern. Uh, so hopefully by, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, an hour, uh, we'll have a gorgeous bracelet and you'll see how easy they are to do. Good morning, Linda. Hi, Diana, Lucy, Ruth, Marcia, Joe. It says morning, Sarah, Kitty and everyone. Uh, Jen, good morning, Sarah. And to all you lovely beaders, good morning, everyone. Hi, Cheryl, Elaine, Dean. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, Jan says, morning all from a sunny Western Supermare. It's really sunny here as well, actually. I'm going to do some of the garden this afternoon and this evening uh, once I am all prepped for tomorrow's TV show. Um, I'm sorry, I completely confused you all on Sunday. Said you were going to be with me. Um, said these bracelets were on telly. It's all a blur. Um, obviously, it was Kitty yesterday because I was on telly. I had shows. Um, now, these bracelets aren't on tomorrow's TV show. They will be on the shows later in the month. Um, but, uh, so this is your only chance to get them with these kits. I did say it was um, like a sneaky piggy launch um, because we I was showing you, um, what else have we got on tomorrow? I was showing you the summer roses, showing you some of the chain mail. Um, I just obviously wasn't very with it on Sunday. <laughs> a bit all over the place. Everything merges into one. Um, good morning, Carol. Hi, Sheila, Jitty, Lorna. Good morning to you all. Old oh, Dean says, I'm good. I'm back to school next week. <gasps> this is it now, isn't it? This is, uh, this is the start of getting back to work, getting back to school. My stepdaughter goes back on the 8th. Um, I know she's a bit apprehensive about it. Six months off school she's had. Imagine being a teenage teenager and having all that time off school. Uh, I don't know what I would have done with myself. Um, hi, Irene. Hi, Rachel and Jean. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to turn you down so you can have um, a proper look at these bracelets. They are absolutely stunning. Now, you may have seen some of these uh, bracelets, this style of bracelet. Um, we actually had a set made with peanut beads or hourglass beads. And when I was, uh, time before last, when I was down at the warehouse, I saw these crystal barrels. I hadn't seen them before, and I have to say, I absolutely love them. I just thought that they would lend themselves to this style of pattern absolutely beautifully. So when I mentioned it to Kitty, she did say, um, we've got a pattern. I said to her, I wanna, I'm going to line them all up, I'm going to do a little pico edging with some crystals and some seed beads. She says, I've already done that with some hourglass beads. So you will have um, in the little section uh, on the uh, um, Facebook uh, category on the website today, you will have kits and this is how they are categorized. So I broke them down into two color uh, mixes within the one color option. So this is your crystal pink. So you will get the beautiful crystal barrels. Now we're saying you'll be able to make two bracelets out of them. That's only because we've included two of the clasps. If you have more clasps or more um, buttons you might like to use, then you will get a lot more out of them. And I'll show you a few tips for that in a moment. So in your crystal pink, you will obviously get, as the name suggests, your crystal and your pink barrels. In your rainbow green, you've got these beautiful sort of iris pink and also then the teal green as well. Gorgeous sparkly barrels. Uh, so that's your second colour option. Champagne. Who doesn't love a bit of champagne, eh? Uh, you've got the beautiful smoky grey and the light champagne. It's like almost, almost a lemon as well. It's a beautiful colour. They both look really delicate on. Um, and of course, you can start mixing and matching these. You could wear them as two sets at once. And then you also have your blue, which uh, takes it down to more of a purple tone as well. Oh, Sue's saying this colorway is just gorgeous. Which one's that, Sue? Which one's your favorite? Um, good morning, Janet from uh, oh, dull and dreary Scotland. We'll try and uh, send some sun up to you. Good morning, Joke. This is your blue. So it's a blue and a purple. And then 
obviously I've kept my favourite to last. Um, I was working on this one last night. Uh, this is your black, which obviously, you know me guys, I've added in some rose gold as well. It's the rose gold I'm going to be making today. I'll wear both of these on telly tomorrow, I think. Oh, Debbie's saying she loves the blue and purple <laughs> and says I want them all. Well, I'll take you through uh, the options in a minute. Simon has put a good deal on them. Um, so the black and I'm going to be making the rose gold. So black has uh, your black and your rose gold in it as well. Uh, so you've got the beautiful crystals. Um, let me take that one out because you get your black crystals in there. Um, and the lovely, uh, lovely black seed beads as well. Okay, so uh, getting going. So with your sets, now they are worth £11, £10.99. Simon's actually put them on offer. He knows you've all had an amazing weekend, loving the discounts in the sale for the bank holiday. So he's been super generous today as well. Uh, these sets are down to £8.99. So you will be making two bracelets for $8.99 and you will have lots of leftover materials. Um, so I know that you will stretch that to more than two bracelets. Now, if you need to add your needle and threads into those, there is an option to do that in the checkout basket. Uh, that's an additional £1.50. Um, but as you can see, for $8.99, I think they're an amazing deal. I'm going to show you how long the uh, the actual um, strands of your barrels are because you're going to be getting a lot out of these. Um, so this is my rose gold. Now they're 16 inch strands. I think we ended up, Kitty and I counted them. Um, off the top of my head, I think they're about 150 beads. Um, so of course, depending on the size of the bracelet that you want to make, you will be able to get lots out of them. Now I'm going to show you um, a couple of the options uh, with the peanut beads that we had. Where's my little extender one gone? Uh, I haven't got it in here, have I? No. Oh, that's a shame. Um, so in your actual pattern instruction, um, it will show you how to get even more out of them. So you can actually extend the beads on either side. So you only have a shorter section of your barrels in the middle and use the rest of your beads to extend it out on the outside. In that case, I think you would be looking at four or five bracelets. You're in charge. You do whatever you need to with your materials to get the most out of them. Um, now, in our champagne, we have a matte black bead and um, somehow all of my sets are a little bit mixed up and I don't have the right colour. So I'm afraid, let me just see if I can find a matte black bead actually. I don't want to show you something that you can't have. So give me one second. Um, or I might just have to use another. I might have to use the uh, the colour that I've got in here. Um, the thing is, when Kitty and I put all of these kits together, there's so many different options to choose from. There's so many different colours that we can put together. And somehow, these ones have got mixed up. Uh, Lucy says, can't choose what colours I want. Um, oh, has someone got an interview or something? Everyone's wishing somebody good luck. I might have missed a few comments. Um, oh, Natalie's got another job interview today in just over an hour. I'll try and keep it short and sweet for you, but best of luck. Good luck with everything. Um, okay, so I'm just going to have to add in a gold bead today, I'm afraid. I will add in um, the black crystals, though, because we've got those. That's really annoying. Um, I don't think I have any black seed beads around. And without rummaging through everything while you're all still here, it's going to be a pain. I need um, my good organisation like Kitty has, you see. She's just got everything to hand in front of her. Whereas, let me just find a black seed bead because it will annoy me if I, off, if I do something for you that we then don't have the right colour for. One sec, guys. my black seed beads. Okay. I think it's a matte black that we've got in there. So with any luck. Okay. There we go. Right. Okay, so I'm reasonably organised. 
Right then, uh, the hourglass bracelet was the first Totally Beads kit I ordered, says Elaine. Oh, fantastic. Um, they are absolutely stunning. I really like the uh, shape and the style of them. Right, I think we're good. I've got, I've got everything that we need. Okay, so beautiful uh, small rondelles. These are two by three millimeter rondelles. So they are going to give us a lovely, delicate sparkle. Here was me thinking, start of September, all organised, got it all going on. I had a busy old day yesterday. Never going to be that organised, am I? It's too manic. Too manic. Okay. Morning all, sun shining today, says Jenny. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous day, isn't it? Oh, sunny in Suffolk too, lovely. Amazing. Okay, so I do have my needle pre-threaded. Yay! Or else that was going to go hideously wrong, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> the way we're going today. Right then, super simple to get started. Now I've got the uh, black crystals here. Camille says, don't you just hate it when you have a plan and then you can't find them without taking everything else out? Yeah, absolutely, because then you've got to spend half the time tidying up afterwards as well. I thought I was doing great having everything all kitted up and then I looked on the website today and the, the pictures are a bit different, so... Oh well, at least this will be exactly what you will get. Okay, so I've got a very generous arm span of thread. Gillian, are you asking me if I finished my painting? My um, paint by numbers? Absolutely not. I think I've done about three leaves. I have had no time. Um, I'll get it out in a minute and show you. Um, I've probably painted about three leaves. I, I haven't had a minute. I have booked myself some time off work. Uh, so I am going uh, to be finishing it. I'm going to, well, no, I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to take some time to commit to it. Um, okay, so in my pattern, I am picking up a barrel, a seed bead, and a barrel, and then another seed bead. And I'm going to come up through my first original barrel. And what this will do when I pull this nice and tightly, oh, please don't be naughty threads today. <sighs> when you have is today monday no today's tuesday yes i was in the studios all day yesterday um it was quite a busy old day i was on air by 7 30 in the morning it was such an early start um and i know that that's gonna probably knock me off for a few days okay guys I do love that you all know me well enough that you just come to expect this from me sometimes now. For anyone who is new and doesn't always watch us, I'm not always this rubbish. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm just going to quickly rethread this. I'm not even going to attempt to take that knot out. The great thing is when you've got, um, when you've only got a few beads on the end, at least we're not halfway through a set right halfway through a bracelet um yeah i would love to have a bit more time uh, to do my painting by numbers but i haven't found that yet it's a really beautiful pattern as well actually as well um it's a bit like the embroidery kits you know like the beaded embroidery kits that kitty's bought in i'm dying to have a go at them um but i just haven't had uh haven't had that time yet um september's calendar is looking a little bit quieter for me so with any luck I'm going to get some time. Lorna says, I never know what day I'm on. Me neither. I've had to um, sit my calendar in the kitchen on the counter this week so that, so like John and I have a shared calendar on, on the phone, but um, if it's, if it's out on the, uh, if it's out on the counter, then I get to keep on looking at it. Um, just to remind me where I am and who I am and what I'm doing. Okay. Barrel, seed bead, a barrel and a seed bead and then we're going to bring these down let's take it nice and slowly this time so that we don't get in a knot up through the original barrel the only thing you want to take care of with this one is that you don't pierce your threads because that's going to give you an annoying little finish um so up through that first original barrel can you see now that that's going to sit really nice and neatly together 
okay and this this is just the pattern repeat that's it now that's all you really need to know so to position myself for the next one I'm going to go through that seed bead at the bottom and it's quite important to keep your tension so keep that tail I've actually got the tail uh, already still attached onto my spool because I can take some extra time um, I take some extra length from that uh, through that bottom seed bead and then back up through the top barrel and then we're going to do exactly the same thing again so a barrel a seed bead uh sorry seed bead barrel and a seed bead and then again we'll go up through that first original barrel and this will now be our pattern repeat because we won't need two each time so as we pull that in and pull it tightly that's then going to sit right up close next to our previous barrel and then I like to um, oh wow Nadia is saying I can't believe it black kit is out of stock already um, okay so uh, Kitty and Simon are probably watching if there is any extra stock they will get that loaded for you they may have just made up a few kits like pre-made the kits and added it in um, they can have a little look uh, if there is any extra they'll pop it on but if there isn't I'm afraid you just have to be quick. Um, okay, so I like to keep on flipping uh, my work. So I'm gonna add on a seed bead, a barrel and a seed bead again. And so I always like it so that I go up through the bottom of the barrel and pull that in. And then I will turn it around. So I'm just gonna rotate that in my hand. So I'm just flipping it over. So I'm now at the bottom again. And then holding that nice and tight, it just helps me keep in the tension I'll go through the base seed bead and then up through that barrel and you can see that when you go through that bottom seed bead the tension becomes um, a little bit uh, looser uh, but as you pull it up through that barrel it's going to keep it nice and tight so um, that last little step and I always find that pulling it up um, is going to be easier um, Seema this is super long D uh, that I'm using Kitty says, I'm on it. I'm just double checking the stock. Bless her. I can just imagine her now running around the warehouse. <laughs> okay, so again, seed bead, barrel, and a seed bead. And then up through the bottom, it just helps me keep the tension tighter rather than working away from myself. So now again, I'm up at the top. I'm going to turn that over, just rotate it in my hand so that that thread is now down at the bottom and then I can hold it nice and tight. I'm just holding these barrel beads flat in my index finger and my thumb through that seed bead at the bottom. Tension will be a little bit looser, but then as you pull it up through the top, it will all tighten up like so. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing this until we get a nice little section, um, just whilst we chat away. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to neaten it all up. Now, this just on its own is a really nice pattern. You don't even need to add in the crystals. But what we did think would be nice was to add in those crystals all the way along the top and it also tightens up your tension. So if you have any problems with your tension and you can't keep it quite so tight, I'm gonna show you a couple of extra little trick steps uh, so that you can uh, neaten everything up. Marion says, just looked and all colors are available. Um, Kitty says, yes, it took me another two hours on Sunday to finish everything off and to clear up. Uh, been looking for the self-watering pots last night. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, Kitty did her Facebook Live and she was potting all of her house plants, getting ready for September. Um, Kitty, I've got some of those, I meant to say to you yesterday, I've got some of those kind of glass domes and you just fill them up with water and then you add it into the pot um, and the water just seeps into the soil as and when it needs it. So I know you can get pots that you can hold them in as well. Um, but I use those, they are, um, they're a godsend because I always forget uh, to water my plants. I tend to kill things a lot, just plants. Uh, Jane, can you use bugles for this too? So the bugles will be a little bit sharper, but yes, you can. You could use the same sort of effect, uh, uh, same sort of technique and pattern to be able to make it. Um, it's not gonna be obviously as sparkly. 
um, as with your crystal uh, barrels and your bead count at the end might be a little bit different. So if you're going to be putting a seed bead in between the bugles, you might find that they gap ever so slightly. But you can have a little play. Have a little play with the technique um, and have a little look. There's so many different, once you learn these techniques, there's so many different ways of adapting the patterns, adapting the materials. That's why Kitty and I love teaching you them all because then it's kind of, uh, once once you can roll with it, um, it opens up so many different pieces of jewellery. Debbie says, good morning. Uh, Susan says, that would be nice uh, when we can move about easier. Or is that everyone getting together or meeting up? Uh, Susan says, uh, just waiting for the postman to bring my orders. Can't wait for my crystals to arrive. Oh, did you get the crystals um, from the weekend bundles? Um, both Kitty and I were using some gorgeous crystals. They had an amazing delivery last week. If you keep an eye on the Facebook page, um, then uh, they keep on putting up images and pictures, little sneak peeks of extra um, deliveries, extra beads that they're unpacking. Mina says, Sarah, I can kill a cactus plant, so we're even worse at looking after plants. So since we've moved into our house, we moved into a new house in um, March. Actually, it was the week before lockdown. Um, and I've got a fabulous conservatory that I use as the dining room. And um, I had a few succulents. I had some cactus or cacti. I don't know. had some lovely cactus plants. Um, and I left them in there. Not actually really thinking about where they were positioned they were all on the back shelf uh, ready to be repotted and they just went wild they absolutely love it in there um, so I've even managed to take some of the smaller leaves from some of the succulents and grow new plants out of them so I've now got about three or four uh, new plants all stemmed uh, from one so I am super chuffed with myself um, that is uh, about the only success I've ever had with plants. Um, so I'm really happy about that. So the conservatory seems to be doing uh, very, very well. Um, oh, Doris says, I can't bend down. Everything's in pots and there, there are over 400 pots to be watered by hand in the garden. Can you imagine how long that takes? Wow, Doris, I would love to see pictures of your garden. It sounds like it is floral heaven. Um, you need to get one of those uh, hoses with all the holes in it and just run it around the garden. Then you can just turn the tap on. Although well, I quite like watering the garden. You get to see everything, don't you? Get to see it all growing, keeping an eye on it all. Okay, uh, question, was the snake stitch and this on the USBs, please? Uh, yes, so this with the hourglass was on one of the USBs. Kitty will know from hand uh, once she is back from checking some stock. Um, and yes, the snake stitch is on there as well. Um, yeah, Kitty's asking for pictures of Doris's garden as well. Definitely want to see that. Can you see how this is growing, guys? Super, super simple. Very easy to do. I'm keeping that tension. Don't worry about the visible threads that you can see um, for now. Uh, because it's going to all be hidden when we do our final step. Just pulling these up and through. So it's a really nice one because you can just sit and relax. You don't even need to uh, count the beads. Um, it's just a very easy pattern that you can relax into and grow reasonably quickly, uh, which is sometimes just exactly what you need. Sometimes it's really nice to have more intricate designs that you can sit and really concentrate on, really lose yourself in. Other times, you just need something that's relaxing, a little quick fix. Um, I tend to, I'm a bit naughty, I, I tend to, if I'm lying in bed, I feel like I'm relaxing. So if I am making samples late at night or in the evening, I actually just take the bead board up to bed and I'll pop the iPad on, you know, get a little Netflix series going and I'll just have that on in the background. Um, so something like this is really nice to do when you don't necessarily have the brain power to be really uh, focusing on something. Uh, Lucy says it's an easy pattern and a lovely result. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. Janet says got the black kit. Thank you. 
Uh, Helen says, oops, ordered and more things fell into the basket. Funny how that happens. Those naughty slippy fingers. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying uh, the kits so much. Kitty and I absolutely love putting them together. Um, and we've got some amazing ones coming up over the next uh, few weeks and months. We've planned until middle of October now, I think. Um, waiting for uh, some nice new bits and pieces to come into stock, uh, some nice new um, techniques. And uh, when I go back, I don't think I have, I don't have any kind of extended time period where I can get down to the warehouse until the end of this month. Because uh, I'm being naughty and giving myself a, a break. Um, so uh, when I go down, we will be looking at Christmas makes into October, November and December. So I can't wait for that one. Um, we've got some beautiful Christmas kits and makes that we've been dying to show you. Um, and now as we are into September, we've planned through to October and then we can get on to them. So that's gonna be really fun. I think a lot of you are going to love these. Okay, so um, I think this will probably do for now. I might add on just a couple more. I'll add on a couple more and then I'll just show you um, how to correct some of this tension. The great thing is with uh, bracelets like these, when you go over and reinforce them, uh, Janet, is there a PDF for this? You'll get them in the kits, Janet. Um, there isn't a download PDF on the section this morning, I, I checked, um, but uh, it will come in the kits for you. Uh, are the projects on the events as I can't see anything Angela that's actually on my list over the next two days um, so I will be amending my ones Kitty will add hers on in um, and then hopefully um, we won't miss anything as you know half the time I don't know what I'm doing the next day I can't remember so that's why I need to set up the events because it's going to keep you and I straight and Tita says question how many bracelets can you get out of the kit so we've added in two button clasps, so we say it will make two. That would be two full length, um, but you will have beads left over. If you have extra buttons or clasps that you would like to use, you would be able to make many, many more. Um, in your instruction uh, kit, in your instruction project, it will also show you a couple of different patterns whereby you can extend out uh, have like a little barrel section in the middle and almost have like an extender chain. Um, in that case, if you wanted to sacrifice uh, having some of the barrels in the middle, you could even get four, five, six bracelets out of them. Now, can you see the tension goes a little bit off in some places, just where I've lost concentration and I haven't been holding it um, as tight as I could. But that's okay because this step now where we fill in with our crystals is going to correct all of that and keep us good. So when you get to the end, and I'll show you on one of these, let's show you the nice crystal one. Uh, when you get to the end, you're going to add on a loop for your uh, button. So depending on the button or the clasp that you're using, we've got these beautiful hematite buttons in here. I'm gonna show you some of the colors in a minute. You want to just make sure that the button is going to fit inside your loop. But can you see then when you're wearing it, that almost completely disappears. Do excuse me. I can't decide whether I've got hay fever or a cold coming on. It's driving me a bit mad. So when you add on your clasp and your button, it's almost going to completely disappear and give you that beautiful finish so the loop up at the top, if you want to get more out of your set and you're using different um, buttons and clasps. Oh, good luck, Natalie. She's off for her interview. Good luck, everybody. Every, um, everybody will be sending their luck, Natalie. You've had some lovely messages. I hope that gives you some nice confidence. We're all thinking of you. Um, so you've got lovely loop up at the top. Just check no matter what button or clasp you are using that that's going to be a big enough size. And like I said, in your set, you're going to get the gorgeous hematite buttons and the colours match beautifully to the sections um, to the sections of your barrel. Uh, so, for example, you've got the nice purple one. We've got the nice blue edged one. And it's just going to give you the highest finish possible, which is really beautiful. So at the end, you will add on your loop for your button. 
and at the other end you will just attach on your button so it's just uh, quite simply coming out of your barrel bead picking up a seed bead your button seed bead crystal seed bead back through the button and then you will integrate your threads back through the bracelet itself now tightening up the tension um, this one it's a nice bracelet but it looks unfinished um, we've spoken many times that a lot of the time you can look at jewelry and just think it's just missing one extra step uh, so what we're going to do is um, really complete and finish this so I'm going to come through my first seed bead like so I'm going to pick up a crystal and then I'm just going to go through the next seed bead so all we're doing here is actually filling the gap in between both of our seed beads and can you see how that crystal is going to sit really nicely in the center now with um, the rose gold I've actually gone for a rose gold thread to to match the color um, you could go for a black so that it's hidden on this outside but with your rose gold um, they actually have like a half coat so you can see halfway through some of your crystals that means if I was to use a black thread that would actually be visible through my crystal. So I thought I would rather have a little bit of rose gold thread visible at the edges than having a black thread visible through my crystals. Oh, Denny, Sarah, you look so gorgeous today. In fact, you look gorgeous every day. Thank you. I'm, um, I'm a bit tired today, so that's perked up my spirits. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, it's really hard when <laughs> I do forget, um, I just, I don't know, when I, sit, when I sit down to do these, I don't really, um, I don't really make much of an effort when I do like my hair or my makeup, sorry. Um, and then often I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I do forget that everyone sits there and you can see me because I can't see you, <laughs> I'm only seeing my hands. <laughs> I do forget that everyone can see me, oh dear. Um, okay, so we're filling in these gaps, like Kitty and I were saying. You, do, you know, it's it's just become a little a little regular for us. Just get up and go into the study. Um, it's like when you do when you do the TV shows, though. You know, you don't really think about how many people are watching you. It's just, you know, your your presenter and a couple of cameramen um, and your floor manager. That's it. There we go. Can you see now how, look, this is just giving it the most beautiful finish around the outside. Oh, Sharon says, yay, just got the blue. Amazing. Um, we have the purple one and the blue beads, and that's called blue. Yeah, so remember, in each of your sets, just have a little look at the pictures on the um, website. <laughs> um, have, a little look, um, have a little look on the um website on the categories and it will show you both colors of your barrels that you'll get in there um debbie says yes but sarah you also can't see uh, can't see us in our pajamas you know the other the other day i might have had my pajama bottoms still on <laughs> i love it um because if i'm around the house and i'm just doing diy stuff if it's a weekend uh, then a lot of the time um, I'm in, well, mind you, I think you've seen me in my decorating clothes. I'll just have my leggings on and yeah, it, that's funny. Maybe it's, maybe it's a good thing that we can't always <laughs> see each other. You can get away with sitting there in your pajamas. I'm very jealous. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe like on Red Nose Day or something. Kitty and I will have a pajama day. <laughs> oh dear. Um... Oh, I think someone said about, who said about a burst couch? Someone said about that before as well. Helen's saying she's going to use that one again. That's a good saying. Um, so what you will notice is, oh, good. Jean's just got the black set as well. Good, good, good. Thank you, Kitty, for finding more stock. What you will notice uh, on these outside edges is that one side, can you see I'm almost getting a curve now? Because one side, oh, Lucy says PJs are the best. Absolutely. Um, John and I have like, oh, mind you, he might he might kill me for giving you such personal information. But John and I have like um, like lounging gear. You know, he hates wearing jeans, but whenever he goes out, he'll put a pair of jeans on. The minute he comes back, he's changed into his pajama bottoms, um, and that's just how that's just how we roll. That's how we lounge around the house. Just uh, nice and comfy, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to turn this around. Can you see that we've got this curve? 
So um, you've got uh, the, the, the side that I've tightened up is gonna slightly pull in. So now we just wanna counterbalance that. We wanna straighten it up and bring those around. Um, Good. Oh yeah, a few more, few more orders. Good, you're all getting the sets. Um, Lorna says, PJ's here. Enjoy the tutorials before getting dressed. Quite right too. It's a nice way to start your day, isn't it? An extra cup of, extra cup of coffee um, and lounge around a bit longer before you have to start the day. Quite right too. I'm quite lucky because obviously I work from home, whereas like Kitty has to get into the warehouse and I'm quite lucky. So I do get to... I do get to lounge around quite a lot. <laughs> oh, hi, Jittle. Uh, she says, hey, Sarah, ordered a load of bits over the weekend and can't wait to make some more bits. Amazing. Oh, I'm glad you're still enjoying the jewellery, Jittle. Hopefully we'll get to catch up soon. Uh, Susan says, my velvety fleece dressing gown is the best, so warm and snuggly. That's what I love about um, the winter months. Although I was born in August, I've just had my birthday. Um, I'm not really much of a summer a summer person, I would much rather be snuggled up in cosy clothes, my leggings, big baggy jumpers, big fleecy jumpers, get your pyjamas on, get the candles on. I just love a cosy evening and some nice cosy clothes. That's my happy place. Nice and comfy cosy at home. Oh, I'm really glad you guys enjoy this bracelet. Sounds like um, sounds like you've all managed to get hold of the colours that you wanted, so that's good. Uh, uh, found some more. Uh, Lucy says, Teddy bear onesies have come back out this weekend. It's been chilly. Oh, yeah, I've got a Christmas onesie, Lucy. Can't wait for them to come back out. They're all packed up from the move at the moment. I think they might all be in the loft. You know when you get all your all your winter gear um, packed up. I can't wait to start getting those big jumpers out. I actually even wore my wool coat this weekend. We popped into Stamford, had a little walk around um, the town, which is absolutely beautiful. Stopped and had a nice coffee and a pancake. Um, but yeah, I had my wool coat on. It was really cold. That's it now, isn't it? September, happy 1st of September. All the Christmas countdowns will start now, won't they? And hopefully these will be on the list. You'll get some beautiful Christmas presents out of these. Uh, so there you go. You can see how that's going to straighten it all up. You've just got your ends to finish off. Um, super, super simple to do. Very easy to create some stunning effects using these. Oh, good. Dorothy's got the black and the blue sets. They are beautiful. I will do a quick reminder because I've seen a lot of people have said that they're only just joining or they have missed the start. Oh, Angela. Angela says, I live in Scotland. I don't put my winter clothes away. <laughs> I, to be honest, I try and extend it as far as I can as well. Um, oh, bless you. All my family are from Scotland. We used to go up there every, um, every summer holiday. Um, I don't I don't have um, many family members left up there now. It's been a long time since I've been up there, uh, which is a shame, but it's absolutely beautiful. I think the uh, the scenery and the views make up for the weather sometimes, don't they? Okay, so have a little look. This is your black set. You're going to get your rose gold and your black. Do excuse that I've used a naughty seed bead colour in there. Wrong colour. Um, okay, and then you have, let me just get all of these colour options for you so that uh, we have the right ones. I want to give you the right names for them. Rainbow green. So your rainbow green uh, will give you your gorgeous iris finish in your sort of pinks and purples. If you're making gifts, oh, Jane says, oh, heck, just bought the rainbow green crystal pink and the champagne. Oh, you are going to be busy, Jane. I can tell Jane's a magpie. <laughs> a magpie, like all of us, I'm sure. Um, we've got um the rainbow green so if you are making presents if you are making gifts <laughs> as they say you don't come to scotland for the weather oh bless you <laughs> it's the scenery it's the scenery i would come for the weather because i love it um you've got some beautiful colors in here if you're making gifts and you're not sure which color palette to go for this is a nice one because it goes with so many different things then we've got blue 
which is actually blue and purple. So like we said, you've got two color sections in there so you can take it down two completely different routes. Wouldn't it be nice to alter these as well, to alternate the colors? You could put lots of different ones in there. Oh, Marie, sending love, sending big hugs. Um, Sarah, the bracelets, you'll get two out of the sets, but you're going to have lots of leftover materials, um, in terms of, um, your barrels, you're going to have some extras, uh, depending of course, on what uh, size bracelets you want to make. If you wanted to, your instruction set will show you how to make a smaller barrel section in the middle and then create extender chains on either side. So if you are looking to get a lot more out of your kit, those guidelines will be in there as well. Champagne, obviously a favourite. Love the champagne. This is going to be gorgeous. We were just talking about those autumn colours, those winter knits. These are going to look lovely with some of those beautiful autumnal colours. Again, you're getting two of your hematite buttons in there as well. And then we have the beautiful soft pink and crystal. This one is just, uh, oh, crystal pink. <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful colours and uh, really soft finish. So um, your crystal has uh, just a crystal finish to it. Your pink has the crystal AB finish to it. Um, they're just so soft and delicate. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, the pink has that Aurora Borealis finish. Um, oh, Sarah says, I've ordered the blue set and extra purple barrel beads. I'm gonna make stitch markers for my crochet. That's a great idea, really lovely. Okay, so um, they are your barrel beads, guys. Your crystal barrels, I hope you have enjoyed it. Full sets available on the website. How long that stock will last, I'm not sure. Sorry, I didn't have everything um, to begin with at the very beginning, but hey, we got there, didn't we? Um, I am not with you tomorrow. I'm on telly tomorrow. So um, as some of you may know, we do create and craft TV shows. I will be there with the Totally Beads Hour at nine o'clock tomorrow. Wednesday at nine is the jewellery destination. Um, I've got some beaded chain mail. I've got the summer roses. Uh, what else have we got? Huge big um, flower bundles. So we've put amazing sets of seed beads together. Um, seed beads and wire. So that if you are enjoying making your beaded flowers, then that's going to be a really nice one. A beaded chain mail, I think I've already said that one. Um, so yeah, it's going to be um, a really nice, uh, nice morning. Nine o'clock tomorrow, Crate and Craft TV. And then that will be nine until 9.45. Then you've just got time to make a new fresh cup of tea and join Kitty at 10 o'clock. Um, I am then not with you until Friday. I think it is um, and then you'll have me all weekend um, so we will as some of you were requesting uh, Kitty and I or well I, I know I will I'm not sure how Kitty's day has panned out so far um, but I will go and update all of the events section on the web on the uh, Facebook page so if you go on to Totally Beads Facebook page um, have a little look in the events we will put all of the um, different techniques uh, different materials that we're going to be using um, I'm going to go and finish off uh, some of, oh, wild work earrings. That's the other one I've got on tomorrow. I've still got um, another colour of those to make up uh, for samples. And then I think I'm ready for tomorrow morning for my next early start. Um, lovely. Thank you so much for a gorgeous day. It's been lovely chatting to you all. Happy 1st of September. Um, it's been lovely knowing you all since March. Um, if any of you haven't seen some of our videos before, we have done this every day for about 23 weeks now. Uh, so you can go back over the Facebook page. You can also go on to the website and have a look, little look at the Facebook categories. That will link you through to all of um, the uh, bundles, the products, the PDF downloads, um, and of course the Facebook videos as well. So if there's anything you are looking for, have a little look in there. Um, lovely to see you all. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Um, and I will see you uh, on Create and Craft TV tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. And then don't forget to join Kitty at 10. You'll get a double whammy of us tomorrow. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you a bit later in the week. Bye.